things often seem impossible until they're done. And you can say, woohoo, I did it, when you can do that today. You are strong and you're getting stronger every single day, every single practice. This month we're working on strength and flexibility and mobility. You're challenging yourself and you're going to see the results one day at a time. You know, one little breath at the time. You know, you got to think it's all those breaths that make up your life. So take it slow, take it easy. Don't hurt yourself. If something hurts, don't do it. And soon, before you know it, the impossible will be within reach. Hi, I'm Jan. This is 316 Yoga. This is your yoga from home. You're doing it your way, the no judgment zone. Don't judge yourself. Do it your way. Don't worry about how the poses look. Think about how they feel. Let them just feel good for you. I practice every single day live, start to finish. <laughs> and in this place on Facebook and YouTube, join us every single day. Every day our practices are different because every day your body's different, right? And you can certainly feel that. But every day we're different. Check us out on Facebook and on YouTube. It's an hour long practice. Today's is called Yoga Plus. And what is that? It is yoga plus bar and Pilates and weights. So we're just going to add it all together and just have a little bit of fun on our Fridays. Check out other days as well. Choose what is right for you. Do what works for you. Use props or don't use props. Just be here and move. Keep this little sacred space of your mat available to you to just breathe. That's the most important part. All right, one of the props I'm going to use today is a chair. So have a chair nearby or a countertop. You can do a couple of the poses, uh, you know, on your knees. We're going to do, uh, I'll just tell you right now, we're going to do a donkey kick and we're going to do our fire hydrant pose on the chair today. Or you could do it down on the ground. It's up to you. See, there's a choice. Have your little uh, bender ball or uh, fitness ball and have it nice and squishy. Don't fully inflate it because you want to create an unstable surface. Grab some hand weights. If you don't have hand weights, just a couple water bottles or cans from your pantry. Or just go through the motions. I've got my yoga blocks too. Let's start. Come on up to a standing position. As you come on up to a standing position, we'll do our warm up. We're gonna do our first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lock that stress number in our mind. This We do this every day, stress number. Scale of one to five, one to 10. Where are you at? Give it a number, give it a number. Stress, what's going on? Assign it a number and we're gonna bring that stress number down. You'll see it's one of those quantifiable, tangible measures of the benefits of your yoga. All right, so here's the deal. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take that confidence stance. So just stand comfortably, feet a little bit wider than hips so you're nice and stable. Hands to your hips, elbows back, chest is lifted. Let's just get the blood flowing. Take a deep breath in. And a big breath out through your mouth. Sigh it out. Let it go. Make it audible. All right, in your confidence stance, just rock a little bit on your feet from side to side. Move your hips. I always think of Superman in this one, that classic picture of Superman. Chest lifted, hands on the shoulders. Breathe. Start to rock on your feet. Come up onto the balls of your feet, then down on your heels. Just find what works for you. Here's the first opportunity to use that chair if you want. Use it for stability. Hold on. You can hold on to the wall. You can hold on to a countertop. It's all good. Okay. Every day we have a word of the day. And the word of today, think about this word as you practice. The word today is right there, regroup. Regroup, it means to make a fresh start, to bring about a new creation. You know, I think some of you, you know, maybe you fall off a diet or you stop doing your yoga or you stop doing something. You say, oh, to heck with it, I'll just give up. Don't give up. Don't keep on failing. Regroup. Think of each breath as a new beginning. Start over, regroup right now. All right, so you're rocking on your feet, back and forth, chest is lifted, finding your balance, maybe come up onto the balls of your feet and hold focus. Laser focus, hold on, breathe. Ah, come on down to your heels. Put more weight into your heels and lift your toes and give them a wiggle. Plant your feet nice and solid, send your arms up high to the sky. Bend in the elbows if you have to, it doesn't matter. Breathe, lengthen through your fingertips. Take your palm, or take your fingers and interlace them. Send your palms up to the sky and start to do your palm tree pose. Oh my goodness, lateral flexion of the spine. Moving the spine sideways, let it feel awesome. Take it as deep as you like. <sighs> Exhale, let the arms come down to the side. Inhale, come on back up. Exhale down to the other side. Back and forth, lateral flexion of your spine. Each breath, start new and fresh with each breath. 
<sighs> All right, let's finish up in this palm tree pose. Let's take a forward fold, release your hands, fold forward, just fold in half, reach towards your fingers, send your gaze towards your knees or up towards your belly. As the crown of your head hangs heavy, shake your neck. Your toes, lift them up, give them a wiggle, maybe close your eyes, challenge your balance. Plant your feet, roll your spine up one vertebra at a time. Come on up to standing, now place your hands at your low back. Squeeze your elbows towards your spine. Look up, up, up as if a raindrop were going to hit you right between the eyes. Send your chest up. Send your hips forward. Little baby back bend. Let's do it again. Shoulders over your hips. Cross the ankles this time. Right ankle crosses over left. Oh, yeah. This is more of a challenge. Hinge forward. Let your arms hang toward the earth. They don't have to come to touch the ground. Just let them hang comfortably. Look to your knee. Breathe. Inhale, arms sweep up. Oh, this is a bit of a challenge. Here, lift the arms up high to an extended mountain. Uncross the legs. Now take the other leg. I'm going to take my left leg, cross it over my right, lengthen up, and then fold forward. However you like, maybe hands to prayer center, or maybe you're finding your balance as you get down here. Breathe. <sighs> Look back to your knees as best you can. Ooh, big stretch in the backside. Inhale, let your arms sweep up this time. Lengthen up through the crown of your head. Let the ankles uncross, feet next to feet, foot next to foot, lift. Exhale, fold forward, hands to prayer center. Oh, I appreciate this. Woo. Breathe, fingers toward the earth. Look back toward your knees or your belly button. Breathe, a little bend in your knees might feel super good. Wiggle your hips. Now roll your spine up one vertebra at a time, bringing your chin away from your chest last. Oh my goodness. Tee out your arms. Take, start to do some arm circles. To the back of the room, maybe. And they can be little circles or they can be bigger circles. You decide the size of the circles. All right, as you're doing the circles in the arms, bend the knees as the hands come down, bend the knees. As the arms go up, the knees straighten. Wake up your knees. They'll thank you for it. Breathe, maybe sit a little lower. Take your arm circles in the other direction. Just get that shoulder mobility going. Maybe it's not so big today. Maybe you're just doing little circles to the side of the room and just teeny little pulses and a little bit of a bend in your knees. Whatever works, works. Be thankful for it. All right, come on up to a standing position. Big coat swing. All right, shoulders are loose away from the ears. Arms are heavy down by your sides. Feet are comfortably planted. Start to twist from side to side. As you twist from side to side, you're tapping your hip, you're tapping your backside, and you're looking over your shoulder. Take the twist a little deeper. <sighs> Look over your shoulder, breathe in through the nose. Sign out the tension through the sighing breath, out the mouth. <sighs> Let it go. Twist, twist, twist. And then let's finish. Come back to the midline of your body and let's do ragdoll pose. Oh, everybody loves ragdoll, right? Feet, hip width distance apart. Hinge forward at the waist. Bend your elbows, hands capture opposite elbow creases. Gaze down towards your ankles. Hey, take it towards your knees, why not? Look up towards your belly button as your neck hangs heavy. Let it feel good. This feels better when you let the neck go. Shake the neck, shake the head, move the neck. Little bend in your knees might feel awesome here. Think of your spine decompressing, low back decompressing. <sighs> Sigh it out. Elbow toward the knee, other elbow toward the other knee. Little swaying here. Breathe in, <sighs> sigh it out. Oh, let this feel awesome in your low back. Loosen it up. Maybe you want to stay in ragdoll longer. You know, that's the beauty of this practice. You don't have to worry about where you are in the practice. As long as something doesn't hurt, stick with it. You can stay, maybe you're going to stay in child's pose for the whole practice. Totally good, totally fine. Listen to your body. Give it what it needs today with your yoga plus. 
All right, finish up. Come back to the midline of your body. I've got my eyes closed. Maybe you want to challenge your balance and close your eyes too. Lift your toes up and give them a wiggle. And then plant your hands on your mat. Let's come into that beloved child's pose. All right, come on down to your knees. You can use a block to bring the ground up to you if you like. Knees together, big toes together, hips back to heels. Arms down by your sides is a classic child's pose. The ground can be, you know, a little higher by using that block if that feels good. You can remove the block and bring your forehead down to the earth if you like that variation. Another variation, there's always a million variations, right? You're stronger than you think. Come on, just give it a try, give it a go. Spread the knees, your hips are still back towards your toes. Reach your arms long to the top of your mat. Here's how you can use the block. Remember, you can put it under your forehead. Maybe you like it under your chest. Try that if you haven't tried it. It's just something different. Or maybe you wanna take the block or blocks to the top of your mat and place your hands on them. This really gets into the shoulders. Bring your forehead down toward the mat. Breathe, most important part, breathe in through your nose. Big sighing breath out through your mouth. Think of your tailbone as really long going to the back of the mat. If you're in this extended child's pose, think of stretching through the armpits even. What amazing uh, anatomy the shoulders are. So you're really getting a big stretch here, doing that full, full range of motion stretch in the shoulders if you want. Breathe in through the nose. Sigh it out one more time. Now close your lips and breathe in and out of your nose if that's doable, if you like it. This will help you build heat in your body and it helps you focus inward. Deep breath in, feel your lungs expand to the side of the mat. Deep breath out, hollow out the belly, navel to spine. <sighs> really let all the air go and feel the depth of the pose. This is your child's pose. Take it any time you want or stay here longer if it's speaking to you. Take a breath in and a breath out. I'm gonna press on up and come into a neutral tabletop. All right, in a neutral tabletop, what is that? You are with your knees underneath your hips, your wrists underneath your shoulders. Push the earth away, lengthen through your spine. You look like a nice, perfectly formed tabletop. Now let's do our forearm stretch here. Now take your hands, bring your fingertips back towards your knees. Forearms are shining forward. Now just move your hips forward, back, whatever feels good to feel that nice deep stretch in the forearms. Oh, they get so tight. Everything gets so tight. That's why your yoga is so good to improve your flexibility and your mobility. And don't think, oh, yoga, you know, I'm not going to get strong doing yoga. Oh, yes, you will. Ask anybody who takes our class on Tuesdays and Saturdays with our vinyasa flow. Hello to Christy, Lynn, Betty, Diana, Diane, Liz, Kelly, Rena, Tim, Connell, Margarita, Mary Jo, Elizabeth, Tim, and Oscar. Glad to see you guys. All right, how's the forearm stretch? Coming along pretty good. All right, let's come out of it. Just bring your hands back to a natural position. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your wrists. Get some motion back into those tingly arms. Oh, they feel good already. Circle your wrists. Let's come into a neutral tabletop position. Let's do a brief cat-cow before we do toes pose. Tuck your chin to your chest, tuck your tailbone under, arch your back up to the sky like a Halloween cat. Hollow out your belly, hollow it out even more, hollow it out even more. So you're hollowing it out by sending the navel to the spine. There's your cat pose. Let's do cow pose, just the opposite. Crown of the head and tailbone, lift to the sky. Do a few cat cows your way, your yoga, your practice. Let this feel awesome. We're gonna do it again, so don't feel shortchanged. Come back to a neutral tabletop. Let's do toes pose, ankle flow. Tuck, come to a standing on your knees. Tuck your toes towards your shins. Find your two blocks or not, you don't have to use the blocks. Blocks are really inexpensive and uh, they just kind of make many poses more accessible and other poses more challenging. Have a seat back on your heels for your toes pose. In this pose, you're stretching out the fascia at the bottom of the feet. How does it feel? 
All right, so we're gonna take this back and forth, toes, ankle, toes, ankle, getting that, working that full range of motion. Sit back as much as is doable. It's not comfortable. I don't think it ever becomes comfortable. If this becomes comfortable for you, let me know. I don't think it's ever comfortable, but it's also not painful. Not, not a treat, but it's, but it's not, uh, I'm not experiencing pain. If you're experiencing pain, don't do it. You know, just take the weight out of your feet a little bit. Just try 10% of the pose. You know what's right, do it your way. Now let's take it to an ankle pose. Holding onto the blocks, I'm gonna press the tops of my feet into the mat now. Keep my knees together using the blocks to bring the ground up. I'm gonna push into the blocks and lift my knees up. So I'm balancing on the tops of my feet. All right, how does it feel? Like I said, you don't have to use the blocks. Maybe you use your hands. You know, lean on back, take it to what's right for you. Where do you feel the good stretch? And then come back to your toes pose. You can bring your hands to prayer center, maybe down to your thighs. Be soft here, rest into the feet. Let, think of the tension in the feet going away. Kind of sounds silly but just release, release, don't hold on. And then let's do it again, ankle pose. Come on back to the tops of your feet, knees together, maybe using props or no props, you decide. Let's do it again, back to toes. Maybe close the eyes. Tell yourself you can do it because yes, you can. Don't give up, come back to your ankle pose. Find your balance, maybe challenging yourself by closing the eyes. Or maybe just do an ankle pose alone is enough of a challenge. All right, let's go. We got to go. We got a lot to do today. Let's come back to our cat cow pose. Come to a neutral tabletop. Lift your feet up. Squeeze and scrunch your toes. Circle the ankles this way and that. Tap the tops of your feet out on your mat. Let's do cat cow again. Press the earth away. Lengthen through your spine. Exhale, chin to chest, tailbone under. Arch the back. Inhale, cow, just the opposite. You're moving your neck, tucking the chin in cat, tucking the tailbone under, moving the chin forward in cow, lifting the tailbone to the sky. Finish up in your neutral tabletop. Neutral tabletop, let's send the right leg long. Press the ball of the foot into the mat like you're in a, a, a race and you're at the starting line. Lift the right leg up, which is extended. Cross the midline of the body. Squeeze high in the upper inner thighs. Press the ball of the foot into the ground and look over your left shoulder. Look back to your foot. Maybe you've been looking at your foot this way for a long time. Maybe today you take it to look to the knee. Nice big lateral flexion of your spine. Bring it on back, knee meets knee, left leg extends. Repeat on this side. Push into the ball of the foot. Oh, let it feel good. Up that calf, up the whole backside. When you're ready, cross the midline of the body. Push into the ground. Look over the right shoulder. Look back to your bottom as best you can. Let's finish knee meets knee on your mat. Let's do bird dog on the ball. Take the ball, place it underneath your right knee. If you don't have a ball today, get one. If you don't have a ball today, you can do it without it. But the ball just makes it more fun and it challenges your core even more. Put the ball under the right knee, tuck the right toes toward the shin. Put the weight into that right knee. Oh my goodness, this is an unstable surface and that's just what we want. Lift the left leg up, send the left leg long. Knee is at about hip height. Press equally into the earth with your hands. Left leg is extended. Let's add the right arm. Lift the right arm. Oh, it seems impossible. Try it. Push the earth away really hard with your foundational limbs. Reach through your fingers. Drive through your heel. Spread your fingers wide. Breathe. You got it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hand comes down. Knee comes down. Other side. Place the ball under the left knee. Press into your hands, left toes drawn toward your shin like another toes pose. Right leg lifts a little or a lot. Knee to about hip height, leg extends long, lift. 
push the earth away. How do you do this? You do it. You can. Yes, you can. Just try little by little. The first step, push really hard into the ground. Then lift the opposite arm, the left arm. Fingers spread wide. Drive through the heel. Lift and reach through the fingers. Hold on. You got it. Find your balance on this unstable surface. Press, reach, finish. Hand comes down, knees come down. There you go. Have a seat back on your heels. That is how you use this little squishy ball. All right, back to a child's pose. Spread your knees wide this time in that wide-legged child's pose. Big toes touch, hips back to the heels, arms reach long. Big breath in, oh, big breath out. Maybe you need to sigh it out, let it go. Whew, maybe that bird dog kicked your tail. Breathe in, breathe out. Knees spread a little bit wider. All right, let's hinge forward now. And keeping the knees wide, if it feels good, maybe you put a towel under them. We're gonna do one of our favorite things to do, which is a plank. We're gonna do it several different ways. Here's the idea. You can do any way you like, you know that, but here's one way to start. You have the knees spread wide, you can hinge your weight forward, put a little bend in your elbows and just feel the weight here. You can hold it right here. You can come down to your forearms and send your knees back and stay right here. Press your forearms and your hands into the mat. You could take that ball, if you get attached to it, and put it between your thighs and come back to your forearm plank. You can tuck your toes under and you can pop on up and hold it. And that's what I'm gonna do today. Let's start the timer now. It's a one minute timer. Let's go, there we go. All right, so here's the deal. Maybe you decide to do a high plank. That's totally fine too. Maybe you don't wanna squeeze this ball between your thighs, it's up to you. But in this plank that I'm in, the forearm plank, also known as a dolphin plank, have your elbows underneath your shoulders. We're 15 seconds in. Press your palms into the mat. Legs are long, heels are hip width distance apart. By holding that ball between the thighs, that's helping me keep them in that position. Squeeze and hold, ooh, it's a long one. All right, maybe if you're in a high plank, you can take a break by lifting your hips high up to the sky like a down dog. And any variation of the plank, maybe you drop to your knees and take a breath or two, totally fine. I'm gonna press harder into the earth for these last 15 seconds. Hold it, everything's engaged, everything's tight, everything's strong, yes you are. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. All right, you did it. Whew. Remove that ball. Which variation of plank did you take? Take different ones periodically. Don't get hung up on doing just one. All right, I'm gonna take a drink. Okay, let's do plank again. Yeah, we did it for a minute, or however long you did it. Let's do it again. It's a fun Friday after all. I'm gonna take the ball this time. I'm gonna place it underneath my feet. All right, then I'm gonna hinge forward, and you can hinge forward, and stay on your knees, on your forearms, pop on up and hold it, or take a high plank in the arms. Okay, I'm gonna hinge forward. Let's do it, Dwayne. Let's set a timer. One minute, hold it here. Oh my goodness, how about another timer? Oh, okay, good, there we go, my goodness. Whew. All right, hold it. Hold it strong, take a different variation. Maybe your variation is down on your back and you're pushing your hands up toward the sky thinking the ceiling is like the earth. Hold it, stay strong, stability in the arms, shoulders over the wrists. We are, what, what are we, 37 seconds in? Hold it, that means we got 20 to go. Hold it, breathe, lengthen through the spine, good and strong. It's not gonna hold you back, come on now, try. Push it, you can do it. Oh my goodness, 23 seconds to go. All right, Whew. breathe. Mm, take a break if you need to. Come down to your knees. Whew. Come out of it if you want. 13 seconds, lucky 13, right? Press, give it all you got. Arms are strong. Five, four, three, two. Let's keep going. Not, let's don't, let's come out of it. Okay, Whew. how did you do? You're getting stronger every single day. Let's take this ball, grab a drink if you want. Take the ball behind your low back, whew, and lean on back. 
That sounds good. <laughs> Lean back like you're in a beach chair. Lean back, back is straight. Soles of your feet on your mat. Hands to prayer center, breathe. Little teeny pulses here, breathe. All right, there's what else you can do. Soles of the feet can touch, knees can open wide, and you can do little pulses on the ball. Breathe, do it your way with the feet, however you like. Arms reach long between the legs. Breathe, little to no weight on the ball. The ball is just kind of a place marker saying, oh, come back to here, but then lift. You think of using your core to lift you, not momentum, because it's kind of easy to get the rocking motion going. Breathe, chest is lifted, shoulders are back and down. Breathe, little lifts, little pulses, you got it. Hold, hold, hold. Take your hands to opposite sides of the knee, right side, knee between the hands, pulse, 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 back to center, pulse, 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 back to the left, pulse, 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 you got it. Let's finish, come on up, two seated, toes up toward the sky, reach down towards your ankles, your feet, hold on, elbows tucked in, stretch out your back, bring your chin, your forehead towards your knees, Whew, you got it, come on up to seated, guess what's next, a Pilates pose, Pilates 100s. This is Rosemary's favorite. I remember. All right, let's come on back. I'm going to take the ball down by my ankles, hands to prayer center, always a good place to be. Lengthen up with control. Come on back all the way down to your mat. Once you're here, a couple things you can do. No ball at all. Totally fine. Or put your ankles, the backs of your ankles up on the ball and find your unstable area here. You could have your heels down and squeeze the ball between your ankles. I think that's what I'm gonna do today. Arms down by your sides. Let your shoulders come away from your ears. Take a deep breath in. <sighs> maybe a big sighing breath out. Pilates hundreds, maybe lift the shoulders up, lift the arms up and pat the earth. You can add in the legs and lift them up too. Breathe. The idea is you pat the ground 100 times, but it's more important to do it your way. What feels right to you? How many times do you want to do it? Don't worry about counting, unless you're obsessed with the numbers. If you want to count, count. If not, just do, just do. Pat the ground, maybe lift the legs a little higher, keeping your tailbone down. You decide what is best for you. Right here, right now, just give it a go, give it a try. Thank you, Joseph Pilates, for the hundreds pose. When you're ready, keep at it. Just a few more. And then when you're ready, time to about finish up, don't you think? Come on down, stretch it out, stick pose. Arms go high overhead, point your toes. Just take a big stretch. Big breath in, <sighs> big breath out. All right, let's come on up. Come on up to seated. Find your two yoga blocks. It's time to do a lunge. So take your blocks, come to standing on your knees, blocks by your sides. I'm gonna grab a drink of water. All right, let's go at it. You've got your two blocks by your sides at a high height. Bring your right leg forward, we're gonna do a lunge. Knee over ankle. Slip your left leg back, push into the blocks, send your left leg super duper long. Maybe you put a towel under your knee. Right knee is over the right wrist, left knee maybe has the towel underneath it. Breathe here, lift your arms up to the sky. If you want, maybe your hands stay down on the blocks. Arms to the sky, maybe a little back bend. Hands back to the blocks, time to surf. Straighten the right leg and rebend the right leg. Straighten it and rebend it. You can keep your hands right here on the blocks. When you send your bottom back with the right leg straight, maybe you walk back with the blocks. Walk it back as far as you want, take your time. Maybe you walk it back and have a seat on your heels. Then walk it forward. You can walk it really far forward here. Feel that good stretch in the left hip flexor. Back and forth with or without the blocks. You decide, find your balance. Let's do it. All right, you know what really sounds intimidating to me? doing the splits. Standing, half, splits. Sounds intimidating, doesn't it? 
Don't let it be. Nothing intimidates you at this point in your life. All right, come on back. Knee over ankle. Put your hands on the block. Tuck your back left toes under. Straighten the right leg, the left leg. Come on up to standing. Send the left leg up the back wall. There's your standing half splits. Look down to your right knee. Lift the leg a little higher. Maybe you remove the blocks and put your hands on the ground. And then finish. Left foot meets right, you did it. Right foot steps back, good and long. Come down to the right knee, left knee over left ankle. Right leg is good and long and straight. Feel that stretch in the right hip. Hands on the blocks, here's where you can stay. Maybe fingertips on the block and that's where you stay. Or arms lift up. Little baby back, bend. Hands back to prayer center. Hands back to the blocks. Surf it out. Breathe, straighten and rebend the knee. Yesterday, I got those monofocus lens. You know, where one's far away, one's up close. I'm getting used to them. I don't know if I'm gonna get used to them or not. Ugh. All right, bring your heel back or your bottom back to your right heel or close to it, stretch and re-stretch. I keep wanting to think, right eye is distance, left eye is up close, ooh, I gotta let that go. Gotta just go with the flow and see. All right, how are you doing? How's the stretch coming? Are you using the blocks or no blocks at all? How is the stretch working for you? Let's finish, come back, remember this half splits, knee over ankle, maybe reintroduce your blocks, tuck the right toes under, straighten through both legs, right leg goes high using the blocks or not, send the right leg high, look down to your left foundational knee, breathe, you got it, you're strong, you got it. Right foot meets left. Guess what? You're in a forward fold here. Look back to your knees. How are you doing? Send your bottom high up to the sky. You got it. Breathe in. <sighs> Sigh it out. Let it go. Plant your hands on your mat. Walk your feet back. We're going to go to a down dog. All right, so get into it any way you like. I'm going to have my feet hip width distance apart, heels slightly elevated. Hands shoulder width distance apart, fingers spread wide, little gecko fingers suctioning into the mat. Tailbone, think of it going good and high to the sky. Now your neck, you're holding on, let it go. Loosen it up, shake it, pedal it out. One heel closer to the earth than the other. Really come up onto the ball of a foot, then the other foot, breathe. Ah, there's your downward facing dog. Plant your heels closer to the earth. Just breathe here for a second, shake your neck. Walk your feet up to meet your hands or your hands back to meet your feet. All right, roll your spine up one vertebra at a time. We're about to get the chair and we're gonna do donkey kick and whew, fire hydrant pose. How are you doing? Maybe grab a drink of water, let's do this. So we're gonna come to the bar. It's like uh, a bar practice. Have you ever done a bar practice? Basically like ballet, like a ballet bar, but I'm gonna use a chair and I'm gonna get it right now. Here's the chair. All right, so place your chair onto your mat. You're gonna use the back of the chair and you're gonna use either the ball, a weight, be careful to use the weight, you don't wanna drop it on your toes, or a block or nothing at all. I'm gonna place the ball behind my right knee. I'm gonna stand on my foundational left knee, or left leg. Now you can do this from an all fours position, you know how we do tabletop? Uh, you can do it there. If you do it there, same, same kind of thing, but you're on your knees and on your arms. Okay, so I'm gonna place my forearms on this back of the chair, little gentle bend in my standing leg, and I'm gonna lift my, um, right leg up 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 I'm gonna pulse the foot up to the sky pulse so I'm gonna start here with the donkey kick so if you're down on your knees you can do the same thing little pulses up to the air try to get your knee to about a hip height Whew. maybe you crisscross your arms on your chair rest your forehead and pulse and pulse the right leg up 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 to the sky Oh, standing left leg in the glutes. You're really starting to feel it, aren't you? All right, lift that foot up good and high. Now just little pulses of the right heel in towards your bottom. Pulse, pulse, pulse. How are you doing? It's a tough one, isn't it? But oh, it feels oh so effective. It feels effective because it is effective. All right, squeeze the ball, squeeze the heel toward your bottom. Then bring the right knee to meet the left. 
Now let's do our fire hydrant pose. Lift the right leg, right knee out to the side like a dog on a fire hydrant. It can be a big dog or just a little dog. You decide how you want to work this for you today. Oh boy, am I feeling it in my left side. Left glutes are on fire and that's a good thing, right? All right, breathe, lift, you got it. Let's finish, knee meets knee, hold it here, squeeze the ball, don't give up quite yet. No, we're not ever giving up, but we do finish and move on to the next thing. All right, let's remove the ball, place the right foot down next to the left, stretch it out by walking back a little bit, stretch it out, forearms on the chair, Stretch it out, breathe. Walk the toes in a teeny bit more. Take the uh, ball behind the left knee. Lift the left knee up, up, up. Rest your head, your arms. And when you're ready, start to pulse the left foot up to the sky. Don't lock out your right knee. A little gentle bend in the right knee feels good. Pulses up to the sky. Breathe. And if you're doing it in a tabletop, you can look forward to that stretch of the glutes by taking that wide-legged child's pose. You know, that's when you send your knees wide and send your bottom back to your heels. All right, little pulses up, up, up. I'm gonna finish by squeezing the ball good and tight. Now little teeny kicks in toward my bottom. If you don't have a ball, you can do it. If you don't have uh, anything behind your knee, you can still do it, but the ball just makes it kind of fun. All right, how are you doing here? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You're at the bar, you got it. All right, right side's on fire this time, isn't it? All right, let's bring the left knee to meet the right, and then start to do your little fire hydrant pose. Lifting the leg to the left, to the left, to the left. Big dog, little dog, they all are good. Breathe. <sighs> all right. How are you doing? Having fun yet? Yes, you are, right? Hello to Stan the Man. I'm glad that you are here joining us for yoga. Hello to Pat and Kelly and Karen and Barbara. Oh, I gotta remember to read those. I'm glad you're here. And how's Betty and Pam? And Bert. All right, oh my goodness, I didn't forget, but I'm just doing a lot on this side, aren't we? All right, let's finish. Whew, hover the knee next to the other knee. It's great when you take your mind off of what you're doing, right? Hover the knee, hover the knee, send the, remove the block, send the left foot to meet the right. Now is your chance to take that child's pose if you're on the ground or step your feet back. Whew. And stretch. <sighs> Breathe. Feels good. All right, walk your feet in a little bit. Take the ball, place it up between your thighs. All right, still got the chair, still got the bar here. All right, so feet are hip width distance apart. Come on back, come on up onto your toes. Try to bring your shoulders more back, more back, bad grammar, right? Bring them back more over your hips. Maybe you're hinged a little forward, that's okay. Try to bring them back a little bit more. Try to sink a little bit lower in your bottom and hold here in like a chair pose. You're up on the balls of your feet. Let's squeeze the ball together. Breathe, breathe, squeeze, little teeny pulses, squeezing the ball in, in, in. Your fingertips are on the bar. Breathe. All right, now let's sink a little lower, squeeze the ball good and tight. Sink a little bit lower, and now pulse up and down. Little teeny movements up and down on the balls of your feet. How are you doing? Are you having fun yet? Oh yeah, breathe, breathe, breathe. All right, sink a little lower and hold. Now start to pulse up and down. Breathe, sink nice and low. Now alternate with heel touchdowns. Alternate, so you're kind of moving that ball a little bit between the thighs. Heel down, other heel down. Come high onto the ball of the foot of the other side. Breathe, breathe. Oh, 
pretty good, isn't it? All right, I gotta sink lower. Gotta bring my shoulders back. Oh, embrace the shake in the heels. And then plant both heels down. Take that big stretch again, stepping back, placing your forearms on your bar. <sighs> stretch, breathe, wiggle the toes. You got it. All right, let's finish. There is your bar practice for today. I'm gonna remove the chair and let's go at it again. Okay, so here's the deal. Let's do tree pose, vrikasana. That chair's irritating, isn't it? I'll move it out of the way even more. Okay, all right, so tree pose. Let's do it in your tree pose. Hands to prayer center. Lengthen up through the crown of your head. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Chair, maybe you have the chair, or tree, maybe you have the chair nearby. Bend one knee, send that knee nice and open. Bring the sole of the foot onto the inner thigh of the opposite leg, or bring the foot even higher. You can bring the foot good and high. Woohoo! there we go. Bring the foot good and high. Hips equal distant to the front of the room. Sway your branches, breathe. If you fall out, don't consider it a failure. Say, hey, I really stretched my limits there. Good on you. Let's get back into it. Don't quit. Don't quit on a falling out note. Come on, come back. Sway your branches. You got it. Find stability as you come back to the midline of your body. Guide the knee to the front of the room. Plant the foot next to the leg. We got another side. Left knee bends, opens up. Slip the foot on up to whatever suits you. Just don't put it on the knee. Remember that. Lengthen up, root through your feet, hips under shoulders. Hands can stay at prayer center or grow your branches. Breathe. You got it, you got it, you got it. Find your balance. Let's finish up. Guide the knee to the front of the room, hands back to prayer center, foot meets foot on the mat. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Be near your weights. Hinge forward, find your weights, crisscross the ankles, one over the other. <clears throat> Hold your weights toward the earth, breathe. Uncross your ankles, take the other ankle over. Pinky toe meets pinky toe, forward fold. Squeeze in every little bit of balancing you can. Finish up, right foot meets left. Come to standing with your weights in your hands. All right, <clears throat> mountain pose with the weights. Lift your weights up to the sky and bring them back to your shoulder. Palms are in towards your ears, lift and lower. Now you can alternate the lifting if you wanna take it a little easier. You can ditch the weights, get heavier weights, get lighter weights, use water bottles. You decide, lift and lower, you got it. All right, a little bit of a switch here. Root into your feet, be comfortable. Now your hands, flip them so your palms are face forward and then lift and lower, like an overhead press. Lift and lower, you got it. Breathe, breathe, most important part. Don't forget to breathe, don't hold your breath. When you're ready, lift the weights up good and high. Turn the palms back toward the midline of the body. Release your arms to a T position, nice and slowly. Arms are teed out, let it feel good. Chest is lifted, little teeny pulses of the arms up, up, up. Little pulses, ooh, they're effective, aren't they? Breathe, breathe, breathe. Flip your hands so your palms are face down. Same thing, pulse them down this time. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Have you ever heard of an e-gym? We started doing e-gym, fascinating concept. Check it out, if you have it in your local YMCA, we did in Colorado, or we found one here at our club in Florida, check it out. It's really a wonderful way to work out. All right, I didn't forget, flip your palms back up. Now bring your elbows, bend your elbows and bring the weights to your shoulders. Tee them out, bring them back to your shoulders. Tee them out, you can alternate. One arm extends while the other bends. Maybe look to the extended arm. If you're doing both arms at the same time, look to the extended arm, come back to center, look to the other arm. Strong arms, yes, you do. All right, tee out the arms, palms face up, bring the arms, sweep them around to the front so the ends of the weights touch. Gonna serve a little tray here. Little teeny pulses up, up, up. Oh my goodness, my arms are on fire, how about you? All right, 
Let's finish. Arms come down by your sides. Wiggle them out. Whew, shoulders away from the ears. Think like your big coat swing. How you have your shoulders away from your ears. Arms are down by your sides. Let's do some bicep curls. Turn your palms toward the front of the room. And then with the elbows by your hips, lift the weights up toward your chest. Maybe alternate here. You got it. Breathe. All right, little bicep curls, elbows hugged in. Strong you are, yes you are. Every little bit makes you stronger. It really does, don't quit, don't give up, just try. If the weights are too much, shift to lower ones. You wanna feel the burn, you don't wanna be discouraged and say, oh I can't do it, I quit. Don't do that. Think of each new breath as a fresh start. All right, let's do the triceps now with the arms down by your sides, palms face in. Put a little bend in your knees, a little hinge forward in the waist. Send the weights, pulse them back to the back of the room. Pulse them back. Breathe, you got it. Lift them high to the back of the room and then pulse them in, in. Look forward, breathe. Kind of feel the entire upper chest opening up. Breathe, your collarbones, send them back, chest, breathe. You got it. All right, let's finish here. Straighten up, stand up straight, send the weights high overhead. Maybe by now you've ditched the weights or one weight. I'm gonna interlace my fingers a little bit. I'm gonna send my elbows by my ears. Ooh, I feel this in the triceps. Bring the weight to the back of your neck and then lift and lower, lift and lower. You got it. Woo. Are you comfortable yet? Oh yeah. All right. Arms are feeling strong. Oh, that's right, we did two minutes of planking today too. All right, if today isn't your cup of tea, make it your cup of tea. Just try, modify the pose. Maybe right now you're doing the tricep stretches by just using your hands. Keeping your hands together, you decide. Let's finish up, bring the weights down to the ground. Let's do another balancing pose. Step forward with your right foot, hands to your hips. Warrior three variation here. Your weight is into the right foot, you're on the ball of your left foot. Softness in the right knee, don't lock it out. Left leg lifts a little or a lot. That chair, you can have it in front of you and you can place your hands on it or no chair at all. Find your warrior three pose. Bring your hands back to prayer center. Lift the leg up a little higher. Bring your hands down to your mat. Remember those standing splits? Do it. Bring your left foot to meet the right. Roll your spine up one vertebra at a time. Hands to prayer center. Take a big step back with your left foot or a big step forward with your right foot. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Hinge the weight into the left foot. Maybe the uh, back foot, the right foot stays down. Totally fine. Maybe your hands stay at prayer center or on your hips, hinge forward. Lift the right leg up ever so gently. Maybe reach the arms toward that chair or into the air. Lengthen, strengthen, you got it. Hands back to your hips. Right foot meets left. Oh, wait, we didn't do our standing splits. Let's do it. Send the right leg back. Hinge forward, hands down to the ground. Right leg lifts, standing splits, you got it. Now the right foot meets the left. Roll the spine up one vertebra at a time. Come on up to standing. You have done it. <sighs> We're almost there. Now, arms lift high to the sky. Exhale, hands through, prayer center, fold forward. Walk your hands forward now and come down to your knees. All right. We're going to come down to our belly. Take it slowly. Slowly come on down all the way to your belly. Got to do Superman, right? Arms reach long to the top of your mat like an extended child's pose. Legs, let them be down by your, well, obviously, your legs are down by your sides. Wiggle them till they're comfortable. They don't have to be zipped up. They don't have to be spread far. Be wherever is comfortable. Lift one leg or the other or both. Find your pelvis and balance on it. Maybe reach the arms forward. If that's not not quite for you, you could have a block here. Lift the arms here and hold on to the block. Breathe. And then work yourself away from the block. Fly like Superman. Breathe. Let's take it to a Pilates pose. Swimmer. Kick your feet. Breathe. Kick. You got it. Strengthen your spine. 
Hands come down, feet come down, hands go under your collarbones, press into your mat for your seal pose. Straighten your arms, come on up and roll over onto your back. Once on your back, whew, let's do bridge. Arms down by your sides, feet, bend your knees, feet are pressed into the mat, shoulders away from the ears, push your hips up to the sky as you push your feet into the ground. I guess lift your hips would be a better word. Push into your feet. Marching bridge, here's your bridge, march it out. One knee towards your chest, then the other lifts. Breathe, 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 march it out. When you're ready, feet plant, roll your spine down, one vertebra at a time. All right, another Pilates move, a Pilates bicycle. You remember these. <sighs> when you're ready, lift your feet up to the sky. All right, hold on to your hips. Start to pedal like a bicycle. Breathe, pedal, keep your chin tucked to your chest. Bicycle in the air, maybe. Legs go up toward the sky. Start to scissor kick them, bringing one foot back towards your head, overhead. Maybe you touch the ground. Surprise yourself, it's not as far as you think. Breathe, and a plow pose to do that. Big toes are glued together. You've touched the ground with single toes. Let's go ahead and bring the big toes behind your head in your plow pose. When you're ready, finish. Roll on up to a seated position. Find your eye shade and your towel. Bring them up by your shoulders. Come on down, nice and slowly with control. Let's take your final Shavasana pose. All right, lots of ways to take it. It's a comfortable pose. It's the end of your practice. Legs long, heels spread a little bit toward the edges of your mat. Arms down by your sides. Eye shade or towel covers the eyes. Palms can be up or down. And you know, there's nothing that says if you wanna bend your knees, that'll alleviate any tension in your low back. You can rest here. You could also rest by having the soles of your feet touch and your knees open wide. Whatever feels comfortable and right for this moment. Might not feel right tomorrow when you do yoga. Take a different variation. Do what speaks to you. Deep breath in. And a deep sighing breath out. Oh, you did it, you did it, you did it. A plus. Breathe. Come to total stillness with no expression on your face, just softness in the eyebrows and the cheeks. Your opportunity to regroup here. You did a lot today. Give yourself credit and praise and thanks. If you wish to stay longer in your final Shavasana pose, and you know, stay seven minutes or 15, whatever feels magical to you. You could touch the pause button on your remote control and stay as long as you like. I'm gonna finish up our practice by taking a deep breath in and a big sighing breath out. <sighs> I'm gonna wiggle my fingers and my toes my wrists and my ankles, I'm just gonna move them around, circle them, stretch them, let them feel good. Inhale, reach high overhead, take a big good morning stretch, try to stretch as much as you can between the fingers and the toes. I'm gonna bend my knees, roll into a fetal position, bend the elbows, and roll onto one hip or the other. Low arms bicep is a pillow for my head, soften up in the top shoulder, take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out, peace. When you're ready, you can press on up, eyes open or closed, decide. Hands or no hands, decide. Crisscross at the ankles, hands to prayer center, lengthen up. Breath in, soften up, breath out. Each breath is a new opportunity, remember that. Blink your eyes open, stress number, you took it in the beginning, retake it now. What is it? You did it, you're done. 
You did the planks. You did all the other poses your way. You took a stress number, and I think that stress number is a tangible measure of how well you did. You did what seemed impossible to begin, but you did it. Congratulations. So this is done. You're done. That only means that there's something else that's going to be beginning, and that something else that's beginning is the rest of your fabulous day, thanks to you doing your yoga. All right. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on your mats tomorrow. Bye. Love you guys. Hey, hi. <laughs> see ya. Good girl. <laughs> You're still here, and I'm really glad for that. Keep this in mind. The path is made through repetition. Keep showing up. And good things will happen. You know that. I'm glad that you're still sticking around. Tell your friends what the yoga's doing for you. Our yoga is free for anybody and everybody on Facebook and YouTube, and they can join in anytime from the privacy of their own home. Tell them about our practice, please. If you'd like to support our broadcast, you can visit our website. It's www.316yoga.com. Stay on your path, enjoy your yoga, and have a great rest of your day. See you on your mats tomorrow.